this is the FEMA. <laughs> this is the fire extinguisher you need. And they come in a box like this. This is the serial number. Okay. And when I got it, I read the fire extinguisher. It was 2001 this month. So I guess they fill it up. It takes a few days to get here. They fill it up right before, right after you make the order. So it's not a fire extinguisher you just sit around. It was literally filled it up like the day after I ordered. So it was pretty incredible. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to rivet my fire extinguisher into the passenger. I was looking at a different way to mount this. Um, on the market, there's ones that you slide underneath it here. Uh, somehow I feel this actually is more intrusive. And you have the carpet right here. So the easiest way I was looking at it, I either I mount this direction, which is out of the way. Let me get away. Okay. Either I mount this direction somehow, or I mount this direction. So as I was sitting in here, very quickly, most of my foot as a passenger is, is going to be here anyways. So either here or there. And the issue with mounting right here, you see how this carpet is turning? There's not really a straight line for this length of a fire extinguisher to mount this direction. Okay, but there, right here, that's all flat right there, so I can actually mount right into the carpet. I just need to hold it, it's not a heavy fire extinguisher. So, and when you need to remove the carpet, you can just un unclip the fire extinguisher, pull right out. I'm going to use the automotive rivet for the bumper because it got a very big flange on it so it will hold 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 it back so i'm going to do it now and use a dromo to slowly open out the carpet a little bit put this in rev it and it should hold i think i need to put four maybe five um then yeah even two will hold but four and five is plenty because this only weighs a few pounds and i think that will be good this is a special fire extinguisher let me show you guys this is the Kilotron. So basically, it's a cool liquid. Doesn't leave any residue. It's good for electrical fire and engine fire. Doesn't screw up your engine bay or interior. It leaves no residue. It's almost like the one you see in the movie. Like a cloud of smoke and just extinguish anything. So it's good for oil, oil, electrical, engine fires. Okay. okay. You can also use for every other type of fire, but this is quite expensive. So for the other smaller or different type of fire use the cheaper fire extinguisher you can get this on amazon uh they sell from 250 onward and i got this brand this is a genetic brand it's called n mrx and um it's about 150 dollars so it saved about 100 dollars exact same bottle just different label and i actually like red some people get a black chrome whatever red fire extinguisher looks cool racing so that's what we're gonna do very quickly demonstrating how to open this uh, fairly quick and there's a notch right here so you basically pull straight out see you pull straight out then there's the fire extinguisher ready to use you have to remove that tab after install so you can pull the pin there's a little latch right here for the pin okay and I'm going to rev it at least this four holes for sure one two three four if I can get one more down here It'll be great, one, two, three, four, five, or six. But like I said, this is very light. Each one of those rabbit can hold quite a bit. So we don't really need to do so many. One thing I forgot to mention, the fire extinguisher, the bracket does come with fire extinguisher. So I do notice there's a vent down here. The fire extinguisher can go minus 40 to 120 for its normal pressure. But this basically can go about 220 degrees. If it's under, if it's in your cabin, a lot of people mount right where behind the seat, not behind the seat, in the center waterfall right here, which is almost, it's actually fairly hard to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do, and it gets hot up here in the car. So down here should be okay. The eight, the heater won't get over more than 100. So I'm going to mount, and then set the fire extinguisher down. So this gives me a flat platform to mount the fire extinguisher. And I swore the seats around, even push all the way up. It's almost perfect. It's easy to grab as a driver. Just come over and pop those two up, pull right out. So, 
I think that's the position, the best position I'm going to do. Try to mount it. So, I use a masking tape, kind of mask off where I want to. Mount just a little off the ground. Okay, and the corner of the fire extinguisher is where that corner is. Then you pull the fire extinguisher off. Okay, the corner of the edge of this will be right there. Okay, this way I can mount correctly. Just using a masking tape, a painter's tape. So if you want to look, I already revved it two on top. And I'm going to do this two, and I'm going to do this two right here. Maybe just one. But it's okay, the, the carpet is hollow in the back. There's nothing in the back. And the revet from the bumper thing, it mushroomed into a four-leg piece. So, it mushrooms into a four-leg spider web. So, the back end of the revet is actually bigger than the front end. And just holding this fire extinguisher sideways would be pretty good. Even this four would do. But I'm going to do safe. Should I just do one? Nah, I'm gonna do two more here, so six that will then hold the fire extinguisher. Will be a permanent thing for this car forever. So this is done. I did one, two, three, four. I have to use a Dremel. I didn't pull the rabbit correctly, so a few of those got cut halfway. But after I pulled it, it's all good. It's super stiff on here. This can probably hold like 50 pounds. So now, moment of truth. See if my measurement was correct or not. There's a slot right there. You have to go between there. So you can hold it in. Okay. And so I with one hand, so what I did is I just go ahead and drop stop the phone. And then uh yeah. So now you can score the seat all the way to the front if you want. But average seat's right here, and that's how much room we got. We got tons of room. Okay. We don't need to go that much front forward back a little bit and now when you sit in you got a gauge up right there and it's quite a ways from the heater you got perfect room for your leg right there and it's on there it's very much on there okay so there's the fire extinguisher for c7 corvette it's not going anywhere originally what i was going to do i was going to rev a bar here and use one of those fire extinguisher holder will just sit right here behind it but it's a lot of work and also if I break really hard it might rip it off this is much safer and it's going front and back exactly where most of the fire extinguisher should so when you ever need it you just reach from the driver's side you pull this and the fire extinguisher is loose pull it out of course you have to cut that gray line first before you install this well after you install this otherwise you won't be able to pull push the thing there's a there's a safety pin if you ever use fire extinguisher you gotta pull that safety pin you know to squeeze but this it come in the pre-packaging the gray line so they won't accidentally squeeze if the pin falls out during the shipping so i have to remove that but this is my latest fire extinguisher mod especially you have a car that has mod on it with supercharging all that stuff so this is very safe nice also this is the 2.5 liter or 2.5 quart not sure it's a 2.5 one okay not the one liter one a 2.5 and there's a 5 I guess you can actually put the giant 5 here if you want to or you can put a 1 liter here it will also work I think 2.5 is perfectly for 1 is good enough for what you need but 2.5 is more than you need 5 is just you just try to put out the house this is not a house so 